I wish I had the vacuum, but the kids are all sleeping, so it's gonna be some elbow grease. Let's get some stuff. Look at that, disgusting. Hi, I'm Shay. I'm showing you a little bit of a before and after of what this kitchen is going to look like. I'm doing a deep dive in individual rooms of my house and today's video is going to be a kitchen deep clean, organize, declutter. The purpose of these videos are for you to clean along with me if you want, so let's clean the kitchen. Maybe you don't want to clean your kitchen, let's grab some laundry that might be sitting in your dryer for a couple days. Fold it along with me, let's get organizing and cleaning. We're getting ready to list our home on the market, so our house is just like a gong show. We have like painting going on. I tell on camera, but it's like a really dark grayish purple, I guess. Um, this was the light gray at the time, and I moved the oven, and this is the state. I've never moved this. Oh no, that's a fit. I've moved it once to paint, but you can see, look, last time I painted, I didn't even do behind here. So you can see how nasty it is these walls it's literally so gross i'm just so embarrassed right now so i'm gonna clean this i wanted to paint tonight but there's just a lot of cleaning here to be done so we'll see if i can get to painting i wish i had the vacuum but the kids are all sleeping so it's gonna be some elbow grease let's get some stuff first i'm taking a microfiber cloth and just wiping the wall down oh my gosh so gross Thank goodness, these microfiber cloths are from the Dollar Tree and they seriously work amazing. I decided to put one in my car to just clean up. Look at that, disgusting. Oh my God, this thing is so gross. I can't believe I've never thought to move this. I mean, anytime I've ever done a real deep clean, I've been pregnant, so I couldn't move it anyway. Oh my goodness, this is just disgusting. Of course, my tripod is upstairs where my daughter and husband are currently sleeping. So I'm doing it with my hands. Oh God, look at that. Disgusting. Oh, yeah. Literally, it's like, you know, with grease stains, it's like caked on there. Okay. What we need is a sponge. Y'all, like, this is so gross. Thank God. We're getting our floors done by my husband friends come and help so thank god i did this before he came over because that was embarrassing all these dollar tree scrubbers i'm gonna try oh my god it's not even really coming off i think i'm going to need to take out this soap honestly dawn dish soap gets out literally everything dish soap there we go that's getting some stuff off I'm just using dish soap and an old dish scrubby that I have. Oh, spilled on the floor, but honestly, my floor needs a vacuum. Have a different gross. I think the floor is like, oh my god, ew, disgusting. I'm doing this with my bare hands too. It's like so much caked on grease and oil and just disgustingness. I think this big sport up just pop off actually. Look at the difference. 
So the room has officially been painted. It's hard to actually tell the color, but it is like a whitish kind of beige. Just makes the room look a little bit bigger than it did before. And we need to fix that baseboard. And then today, my partner's friend is coming and he's gonna help, by help I mean he's probably gonna do it, add in the flooring. We just bought this cheap flooring. It's just like laminate, the click-in kind of ones from Home Depot it was on sale and we thought it matched, but look at the difference. Whatever, it was cheap. Anyways, so we're gonna throw that in there. The kitchen flooring was something we had to redo as well, so we did that for about $100, and this is what the kitchen looks like. I did take a magic erase marker to my counter, and it turned a different color. My counter is now white. It was like an off-white before. Turns out it was dirt for years, and whatever I was using, the cleaner wasn't cleaning it off. So we did change the doorknobs and repaint the cabinets just white. And then I did paint the rest of the kitchen. It's hard to tell, it is a cream white, but on the camera it's showing gray because these cabinets are very, very white. It's been about four months for this fridge, disgusting, time to clean it, but I don't have a lot of time to do that. So I have a little bit of a hack on how I'm going to get this fridge clean without having to scrub anything down. I'm going to take some, this isn't actually what it says on the bottle, this is just the Blue Dawn dish soap and I'm going to pour it in. I have to plug in and we're gonna fill this bathtub and then not have to scrub this down. I mean, probably this little box as well have to get scrubbed, but not the rest. Already time to put boiling hot water and leave it for a bit. My camera is currently charging so I had to film on my phone. I left it in for about an hour and the rack came out it was clean, the glass came out clean, and these came out clean as well. Like, check it out, no scrubbing needed. The water is yellowish, has a yellow tinge to it, and there is just stuff like absolutely everywhere. You can see in the bottom of the tub, it's hard to tell, but like, it's covered. So I'm going to pour up the plug, like look at that. That was all on there. And it just came off. I didn't have to scrub anything. Anywho, I'm going to do that and then rinse out the tub after. In the meantime, I'm going to dry these off, clean out the fridge, and put these back in the fridge. I just sprayed a little bit of this onto there and left it on for an hour, and voila, done. All I had to do was wipe. That was it, and the fridge was clean. Alrighty, we don't even have a fridge laid in here, so that's another thing we're going to have to figure out but this is what we're working with i did actually recently like scrub my fridge so we're just going to be organizing it today and you know making it look prettier i'm organizing a little better with the extra bins that i have from the bathroom so let's get organizing the first thing I want to do is organize my cheese and meats. There's a lot of them, so normally I have them in one bin, and I realize this is organized chaos, and I need to make it a little bit neater. So I'm putting all of the cheese in one bin, and all of the deli meats and bacon in the other bin. This just honestly makes it a lot easier for me. I'm the only one that really kind of goes through the fridge like this, but it just makes my life a little bit easier. My sister had her wedding reception yesterday and we had a lot of leftovers, I guess, and so she gave them to me, which is awesome, but now I have to find them. My daughter specifically asked her to give her pickles, so I have a baggie of pickles. A saran wrap baggie of pickles. Aha! More cheese! Add to the cheese bag. Okay, this little baggie of pickles needs to be eaten. Today, so we're just gonna stick this in a bowl for her for her snack and then she also randomly asked my sister if she could have roast beef so roast beef <laughs> there we go an empty bag you use this every single day so I kind of want this to be the stuff that I can use every day and just grab and go and then the ones that aren't as useful to me, I'll put at the very bottom. So now we have the everyday items in the front. We'll move. My daughter can have her apple juice today. Now moving down. 
I do have this little bucket that I would like to use as well. I think we have a mango. If I leave this out, it will be ready to be eaten. I'm going through our fruit drawer. So this is still good. We do have some fruits that are still okay to eat. I mean, they're still okay to eat either way, but um, if I give it to my daughter, she's gonna be like, um, no, no mom. That one will do, that one's okay. I think the thing is the fruits are in the bottom and then as much as they, you know, it just, we don't use them because they're in the bottom. And then these are all like, not as pretty, so I guess I will be eating those. When I get groceries sometimes, I just have to throw it in the fridge, not organize it because mom life. But today I'm actually organizing it. It's been a little bit since I've actually went grocery shopping, so it's definitely due for it. Putting the fruit away, moving things around where they need to be. And this just makes it easier for me to see what I have in the fridge. I don't waste as much because when I go grocery shopping, I can see exactly what's in there. And as you can see, there were literally fruits all over the fridge. Like, that was not helpful. Clearly, it needs to be a better system. This just looks so pretty. I'm obsessed. Why don't I do this more often? Because I'm the one that put the lemons on the shopping list. I put lemon and then he came back with a bunch of lemons and I was like, uh, why did I put that on the shopping list? So the freezer is pretty packed full. Um, but like, I feel like that's kind of expected with the freezer, especially a freezer of this size. So The final overview of the fridge. Works pretty good. Oh god, I just remembered that I forgot to check this. And yes, we are two weeks past expiry. <laughs> well, let's deal with this. Milk. Another thing I need to organize is my makeshift pantry. So let's get on that next. Organizing my pantry area. Now, this area kind of gets neglected a lot and I just needed to tidy it up a bit. I just needed to reorganize this a little bit, so pouring the chocolate chips into the proper containers. And of course, the container's too small, so now I just have two things of chocolate chips. Great. As you saw, my toddler tried to sneak some. <laughs> she thinks they're a little treats, so she got a couple of them, let's say that. There isn't too much in here today, so it's not a huge amount to organize, but I just wanted to straighten it up a little bit. And like I said, put everything so I can see it. I know what I need and I know what I have when I go grocery shopping. Seriously, this saves so much money because you don't buy duplicates and food that is gonna go bad. That is now done as well. The last thing I wanted to go through today is my cup cupboard. And only because I am very minimalist about what I use. And then my sister and my brother-in-law just had their wedding and then they gave us these cups as like the wedding favor that my brother-in-law's mother, my brother-in-law's mom made. And these are absolutely beautiful. I love these cups. Like. Check out how nice these are, they're big. She literally handmade these. That means that I need to make some room, so I'm going to get rid of these two cups at the back. I do have coffee in my new cup right now, but I have room to fit the new cup right here. So now that I've removed those, this is what we have in the cup cupboard. Even if we have guests over, we have two extra mugs, so it's perfect. And then I can move these to the declutter pile. Thanks so much for joining me today in this deep clean, organize, and declutter. Be sure to check out this video next. See you next time. Bye.